Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Brandon Wynn and this is Critical Failure. So we are on the Shadow Dancer. Those who have fought Shadow Dancers describe the experience as similar to fighting a living darkness. Every dim alcove and darkened nook is a place where the lithe and acrobatic Shadow Dancer can emerge to ambush their prey. Excuse me. Using this tactic, they attack their enemies from all angles with a fl flurry of entangled chains that hold fast and corrupt the flesh. When their quarry is helpless, others move in to help dispatch a prey. Then they loot the corpse for trinkets, anything colorful and lively to gaze at after they return to the gloom of the shadow fell. The Shadow Dancer. It's an AC, it's a medium humanoid, elf, neutral, AC of 15, studded leather, hit point average of 71, 13 D8 plus 13, yeah, I completely thought I messed it up. Speed of 30 feet, strength of 12 plus 1, strength, uh, dexterity of 16 plus 3, constitution of 13 plus 1, intelligence of 11 plus 0, wisdom of 12 plus 1, and a charisma of 12 plus 1. Strength, its saving throws are dexterity and charisma, which are plus 6 and plus 4, and its skills are stealth, up, which is a plus 6. Its damage resistances are necrotic. I thought the other one had immunity to necrotic. Yeah, just make it immune to necrotic that doesn't make sense that it's resistant to necrotic make it immune to necrotic uh condition immunities are charmed and exhaustion senses are dark vision up to 60 feet again do 120 uh and a past perception of 11 it speaks common and elvish and has a challenge rating 7 2900 it has fey ancestry the shadow dancer has advantage on saving throws against being charmed and magic cannot put it to sleep uh shadow jump as a bonus action, the Shadow Dancer can teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space it can see. Both the space it teleports from and the space it teleports to must be in dim light or darkness. The Shadow Dancer can use his ability between weapon attacks and, and another action if it takes. So it can attack, use its bonus action, bonus action to do this, and make it second attack. And it can make three attacks. So it can do this at any point. That's actually really cool. I really like that. Uh, they can make multi attacks, three spiked chain attacks. The spike chain, it's a melee weapon attack, reach, or is plus six to hit, reach of 10 feet, one target only, average 10, 2d6 plus three piercing damage. If the target must succeed a DC 14 dexterity saving throw or suffer one additional effect of the Shadow Dancer's choice, the target is considered grappled, escape DC of 14 if it's a medium or smaller creature, till the end of the grap, until the grapple ends, the target is restrained and the Shadow Dancer cannot grapple another target. The second one, the target is knocked prone. Or three, the target takes 22 average, 40, 10 necrotic damage. I wish it was like bleeding. I'm not sure if that's a continuous thing, but I would say make it have 1d4 bleeding. So after three rounds, it'll end, but it takes an additional d4 of bleeding damage during that spiked chain thing. I think that'd be really cool because uh, it doesn't do necrotic damage right off the bat. So I think that'd be really cool. Uh, I would say that within that space of darkness, it's considered uh, difficult terrain for creatures who walk through it while it's going through uh, during that time. So the next turn, it would be considered difficult terrain. I think that'd be really cool. Um, I just completely accidentally scrolled all the way up somehow and got glass on my finger, I think. Yeah, I see the glass reflection. Because uh, this phone is broken. Sorry about that. So hold up one second. I'm on a night walker now, so I'm close to the gloom. Yeah, there it is, Shadow Dancer. Um, I would say probably has advantage on acrobatics checks while in darkness. I think that'd be really cool, you know, being able to be flexible and go in and out of the darkness and stuff like that would be really smart. Um, Probably get sneak attack. Uh, so if it strikes first in the uh, initiative count, or if it is some, if they have like basically pack tactics, if it has an ally behind them, uh, it would get sneak attack. So I think that'd be really cool. So uh, that's all I can really come up with for the Shadow Dancer. So thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. Please don't forget about our giveaway that we're planning on doing. Please comment down below if you want that or uh, message us at critical.failure. It should be, uh, I'm actually gonna try and check because uh, in the last video I didn't. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to bring it up on my this phone because it doesn't have a SIM card in it and we don't have Wi-Fi at the current moment. Uh,
it's two dice, and it's on a, the book of uh, Lost, the starter guide, the Lost Mine of Fandelver, Mines of Fandelver. Uh, just message us there. It's critical dot failure. Hit the bell notification button because you're not going to know when we're releasing videos without, you know, being alerted. So that'd be really nice. And uh, again, just comment down below what you'd like to see from us or if we're doing a good job. Thank you, guys.